In this video, we're going to find dy dx using logarithmic differentiation. So the process of logarithmic differentiation works as follows. The first step is we take the natural log on both sides. So ln of y equals ln of all of this. So all of this, whenever you have a cube root, you can just take all of this and write it to the one third power. It's one over three. So let's do that. So this is parentheses x, parentheses x plus one, and then x minus two, all divided by, and then here we have x squared plus one, and then two x plus three. And this is all to the one third. So the first step, take the natural log of both sides. The second step is to use properties of logs to clean this up as much as possible. And then you take the derivative, that's the last step, and then solve for it. So let's go ahead and use some properties here. Because we have a number here, we can bring it down and put it in the front. That's called the power rule for logs. So if ln of y equals one third natural log of all of that stuff. So x, x plus one, x minus 2, all divided by parentheses x squared plus 1, and then 2x plus 3. Boom. Beautiful stuff. All right, now we can use some properties. We're going to use uh, a few properties here. I'm going to write them on the side just as a refresher in case you've forgotten. The first one is called the quotient rule for logarithms. It says if you have the natural log of a over b, that's equal to the natural log of a minus the natural log of b. This is a really powerful uh, property. The other one says if you have the natural log of a times b, this is the product rule. This is the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. So this is the natural log of y equals 1 over 3. So first we'll use the quotient rule. I'm going to use a bracket here. So we have the natural log of the top piece. So x, x plus 1, x minus 2, okay? And then minus the natural log of the bottom piece. So that'll be x squared plus 1, 2x plus 3, okay? And then a bracket. You can add an extra parenthesis here if you like, if you feel like it makes it more clear. Um, I did it here. It's not necessary, so it's up to you. Now we're going to use the product rule multiple times, right? So this is the natural log of y equals 1 over 3. I'm going to keep my bracket. So it's the natural log of x. That's the first one. Plus the natural log of x plus 1. That's the second one. Plus the natural log of x minus 2. That's the third one. Here we have to be careful because this is going to turn into two logs. So minus parentheses, natural log of the first one. So it will be ln of x squared plus 1 plus ln of 2x plus 3. Really nice. Parentheses, bracket. Okay, now we're going to differentiate. Um, let's do it. So taking the derivative with respect to x on both sides, on the left hand side we simply get 1 over y times the derivative of the inside which is dy dx. Here the one third hangs out. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x plus this derivative is just like this one really. It's just 1 over whatever you see. So 1 over x plus 1. And then just like we did here we multiplied by the derivative of the inside which is just dy dx. Here it's 1, right? The derivative of x plus 1 is 1. Plus, same thing here, 1 over x minus 2 times the derivative of the inside, which is 1, minus 1 over x squared plus 1 times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x, right? Power rule. And look at this, minus 1 over 2x plus 3 times the derivative of the inside, which is 2 this time, right? So, wow crazy problem. You do a problem like this, your hand hurts. Like, <laughs> it's like my hand hurts. From right, this is long. It's really, really, it's, 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 it's painful. It's so hard. <laughs> All right. So I guess we can multiply by y now. I'm going to put a y here, put a y here. So dy dx, I'm going to write it like this, one third y 
bracket, and then it's going to write all this again. So 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 2 minus 2x over x squared plus 1 minus 2 over 2x plus 3. And that would be it. That would be the final answer. If you like, you could plug in the y again. Um, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. In this case, you could. You could take this and plug it back in. Uh, and the answers, I have the answer to this problem. They don't do it. They just leave it like this. So I thought, I'm going to save myself three minutes or two minutes and not do it. But you should, and maybe you could. You know, you could, you could take the y and put it back in here. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.